In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I don't know how this TikTok thing works, but this is like a part two. I was talking about the goodness of God, and then I was speaking about how there's this hymn in the Coptic Church about the thought of man keeping a feast and the heart keeping a feast. And I have the liturgy book here, and it's Alleluia, the thought of man shall confess to you, O Lord, and the remainder of thought shall keep a feast to you. The sacrifices and the offerings receive them to yourself. Alleluia. And I just want to meditate on that. Because we were talking about God being good and his mercy enduring forever. And I was talking about how ever since our forefathers, Moses, Adam, Aaron, Levi, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Israel, his holy one, all of these forefathers, they, God has been good ever since those times. And throughout every generation and nation, every nation, every tongue, the thought of man confesses the goodness of God. The thought of man confesses his 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 magnitude. The thought of man confesses that he is Pantocrator, which means almighty. And the remainder of thought keeps a feast to him. You know what's beautiful about that to me, at least in my view, is that it's like telling me my subliminal mind keeps a feast unto you. Even when I'm going about my day or whatnot, the remainder of my thought is keeping a feast to you. When I'm down in the trenches of sin, ever notice how sometimes when you sin, your only thought can is the Jesus prayer, like, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, Lord Jesus. Because while my flesh is being disobedient, my soul, my heart, my mind are all on Christ, keeping a feast and confessing and praising and worshiping. It's this flesh that's often disobedient. And I also like in this how it says the sacrifices, the offerings. Receive them to yourself. This sacrifice of praise, the sacrifice of living the life of righteousness, keep it unto yourself, O God. Lord Jesus, this life of praise I give unto you, this sacrifice, this offering, I keep it unto yourself. O Lord, you said that you do not delight in burnt offerings and whole burnt sacrifices, but God, you desire a broken and contrite heart, a broken spirit you, O God, will not despise. So, Lord, take this broken heart, take this broken spirit, take this sacrifice and keep it to yourself because, Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. And I just, you know, it was just it was just eating at me. You know, I, I have to share that. Have a blessed day. Pray for me. Peace.